When you prepped your warp, you made sure that you had a loop on one end. You are going to take that loop and you're going to put it over the first peg and you're going to go up and down and up and down with your warp. When you get to the last peg on the top, you're going to use your clothespin to hold the tension while you prep the end of your warp for the last loop at the bottom. Before you do that though, you're going to want to tighten up your warp. Even though it seems really tight, it can be tighter. So you're going to pull up and pull down and pull up and pull down and tighten your warp even more. Now that your warp is really tight, you're ready to make the loop at the bottom. So you're going to take your clothespin and hold on to the tension so that you can just mess around with the end of the warp. You're going to make sure that you have enough fabric to make a loop that's about as wide as your hand. Then go ahead and cut the fabric. Now you can take your needle and thread and sew the end of the warp to itself so that you get another loop. It doesn't need to be fancy sewing, it just needs to be strong. So in and out, in and out, until you feel like your connection is strong. Because remember, your rug is only as strong as your warp. I'm finished sewing, I have a good strong connection. This isn't going to break. I'm ready to take my loop and put it over the bottom peg and my loom is warped, ready to start twining. <laughs>